What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and today we are doing the Q&A video so if you guys want the um, usual roleplay where I get pulled over, be sarcastic, all that then you're out of luck but if you want to know a little bit about me, the guy who creates the videos and some of my opinions on things then stick around and I'll be answering the questions which you guys have sent in over the past couple of days so uh, let's get into it Okay, so you guys that have watched my video probably know that my real name is Nick and um, Jack Kerner asked me on Discord, he said, what about my age, current car, dream car, where are GT Gamers Studios, lol, and maybe current job? Uh, first one, I am 20 years old, I was born on Christmas Day 1997, fun fact, that's why I'm called Nick, it was either that or Noel, yeah, I'm literally named after Santa Claus, I wish that was a joke. Um, current car, I drive a red 2016 Toyota Igo 5-door X-Play, which is a s sort of small hatchback, 5 doors obviously, and it has cruise control, it's cherry red, I love it. Um, I wish it had a bit more power, though. it's only a 1 litre. My dream car, ooh, that's where it gets interesting. Um, I have, I think, 3 dream cars. I'd love to get a Ultra Blue Dodge Challenger Hellcat Demon. That's just amazing. Um, I'd also have a Nissan GTR, but fully modified. It's got to be modified. And the third one, I would probably have a Skyline. I'd love to get a Skyline in real life. Again, fully modified. So I think that's pretty much my dream cars. I can't pick one, they're just all so good. Uh, where are GT Gamer Studios? Uh, I currently live in a city called Newport, which is in South Wales. Uh, had some media attention recently because it was home of the NATO Summit and the Ryder Cup. So President Obama came here. Thank God, it wasn't Trump. Uh, so that's where I live. I live in a town called Newport, which is in Wales, not England. I'm not English. I hate it when people call me that. And my current job, I work for a company called Wilkinson's which is a DIY store I work in the warehouse so that's pretty much answers that question 20 driver Toyota dream cars I said and I live in Wales and work in a DIY store DIY store try that again god English so thank you very much to Jack Kerner for that question and the next one is from Wolf Wolf 17 he asks when am I going to be a cop um, that's a good question. I do miss being a cop. I loved being a cop in GTA. But it's kind of... I enjoy doing civilian more. What I was debating with, and let me know what you guys think about this. I was going to do, like, a cop month every year. Say, like, I don't know, December, for example. Don't know when it would be be a cop for that month, then civilian for the rest of the year, and see how that pans out. That's what I was thinking about that. But I did honestly enjoy being a cop. It was really fun, but I just found that you spend a lot of your time as a cop being like, you sit there on the side of the road, you get people being ignorant, you're trying to understand, and it is a lot of pressure and a lot of stress, so don't really know. But I was toying with that idea. I probably will be a cop again in the future, I just don't know when. So I'm sorry I can't answer your question, Wolf, but that was an awesome question anyway. Our next question is from Lil Potter, who said on one of my videos, I know eh, I know this is another great vid, and P.S. Do you know Jeff Faviano, Bay Area Bugs, and Paul Cat 324 Um, not in real life. I live in uh, the UK, they live in the USA never been to the USA, I would love to meet them. I know the idea of a OCRP meetup has been floating around, but nothing has officially been mentioned. Um, do I know Jeff in-game? Yes, uh, Jeff was in yesterday's video, and Bugs was in a previous video when I was Sheriff, I believe. Um, we speak quite a lot on TeamSpeak, mainly during um, meetings and community meetings and stuff like that. Polcat is not a member of OCRP. I did briefly doin, doin, join DOJ, but I never got to meet Polcat. He is, of course, the director. So, in summary, yes, I know uh, Jeff and Bugs, but I don't know Polcat. I know none of them in real life. 
So thank you Lil Potter for that question and our next question is <laughs> also from Lil Potter apparently. He's a very curious guy apparently. Uh, question, where are you from and how did you find out about GTA RP? Um, that is actually a good question. I've already answered where I'm from. I'm from Newport in Wales. Um, how did I find out about GTA RP? Basically, when I got into computer gaming, I had um, Trains 2006, it was pretty much the only game I had, and my brother gave it to me. And I heard about Train Simulator, I thought, hmm, I, enjoy, I enjoy Trains, why don't I play Train Simulator, it looks better. So I thought I'd have a look at a video on Train Simulator to see what it was like. And the first one that popped up in the suggestions on YouTube was Squirrel, who's a British YouTuber. And I enjoyed his videos, so I subscribed to him, started watching more of them. And uh, he also played Euro Truck, another game I bought not long afterwards. And then they did a collaboration, um, Squirrel and Jeff did. Uh, it was in a flight sim thing in Spain, if I remember right, something like that. And I really liked Jeff, so I thought, you know what, I'll check out this guy's channel. And the first video that was there was DOJRP, so I clicked it and I liked it. So I went back to the beginning and watched every single video on DOJ and I loved it so much that I thought I'd check out Bugs and Polcat and um, Black Hollow. I checked out a load of channels and it was really cool. And um, I applied for DOJ and I got in, I passed the test and everything. But I couldn't get 5M to work on my computer, I'd never used it before, I'd never used TeamSpeak and I was having a real problem with it. So I went back a few days later, kept trying to fix it, why am I driving normal? And um, I f eventually I managed to fix it, it was a problem with the files, so I had installed them in the wrong place. And as I was about to go back on the DOJ, redo my test and everything, I watched Jeff's stream. And it just happened to be the stream where he announced OCRP. And I thought, you know what? That looks fun. I'll apply to that. I'd like to be a part of a new community. So I went on. I applied. I was one of the first people in. I had like, I think I was, I was the third ever person to get interviewed. And we jumped in, started playing beta, and I just, I really loved it. And joining OCRP, honestly, was one of the best things I've ever done. So, yeah, I... That's how I found out about it, and looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. I love joining OCRP. It was a great thing. So, thank you again for Little Potter for that question. And what is the next one? That Trash Guy 84 question, are you ever going to rob the big bank? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, hopefully this week, actually. I don't know when. I've explained this before. Um, Due to work and time differences and a whole load of other things, it is very difficult for me to get on at a time where I can rob the bank. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, I've got a week off this week, so hopefully I can get on at a late enough time when there's enough cops on and attempt to rob the bank. I hope that works out, but honestly, I don't know. But hopefully... Hopefully we can get away with the money. It is something I have been meaning to do for a while. Something I've been trying to do. And um, as soon as I do it, I will release the video probably as a special. Because I'm robbing the big bank. It's my first bank robbery. So yeah, I am going to rob the big bank. Uh, thank you, that trash guy 84 for your question. Thank you for that question from the trash guy 84 Great name, by the way. Uh, Caden Cross asked, what recording software do you use? Um, I use OBS. I know they're not known for recording, they're more a streaming thing. But honestly, it's free. It's really good. And you can keep the window on your second monitor and just keep an eye on it. Um, it is really good. The only downside to using OBS that I found is it can be tricky to record in 4K, which is why I don't. And also... If you connect OBS to Twitch or YouTube to stream, that happens. That is the best demonstration ever. What? I was literally just about to say, it'll make a sound when someone subscribes. Literally just happened. 
that is like what are the chances of that i swear to god that was not staged but yeah that's the biggest downside to obs you get those random noises here and there and i'm pretty sure you can turn them off i've just never bothered to look into it so uh, thank you Caden for that question and our next question is from that trash guy 84 once again who uh, commented on the video where I urinated on a cop car saying thank you for taking the suggestion Q&A question how much would someone have to pay you to urinate on a cop car in real life ooh <laughs> um, depends on the situation if it's like an abandoned cop car just parked in a lane or something probably do it for a hundred maybe two hundred pound um, if it was in the middle of town center but still empty probably 500 and if the cops in the car that shit's gotta be worth five grand <laughs> you're giving me five G's for that one I'm not walking up and pissing on a cop car um, just for him to get out and arrest me for like a couple of hundred pound <laughs> not happening um, if that situation were to happen I would definitely urinate on the driver's door handle for the simple reason it will take him longer to get out of the car and arrest me so it would give me a little bit of lee uh, leeway to run away not like I'd ever do such a vulgar disgusting act <clears throat> Blake Stewart asked how tall are you I am 179 centimeters tall and one centimeter under six foot and yes that annoys me as well so um, that would be five foot eleven and a half, just over. So I'm not short, but not particularly tall either. Um, yeah, not really much more to say about that. I'm just under six foot tall. Alex Cam Campazano, Campazano, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, said, "Can we see your face on a video?" And also Blake Stewart once again said, "Hey, will you do a face reveal?" Uh, probably. Don't know when, nor plan on doing it anytime soon because I don't have a webcam or anything. Uh, maybe in the future, I don't know, I might do it for like a thousand subscriber special or something. Or if I ever do a vlog, which I'm also hoping to do one day, then I will do a face reveal. But I'm not planning on doing it anytime soon. So if you want to see what I look like, just gonna have to hang on in there a little bit. Sorry. Carnage Bricks asks. God, I feel like I should shout his name, because BRICKS is in all capital letters. It's like carnage. BRICKS! Uh, he asked, How did you get introduced to the world of GTA? Also, you deserve more attention for your work. Keep it up. Um, I appreciate that, BRICKS. That's a uh, really nice thing to say. And uh, world of GTA... I'm assuming you mean GTA RP. I've already answered that. But how did I get into the world of GTA? Um, I bought the game. <laughs> Not much more to it than that. First time I played GTA was um, Vice City uh, when I was a kid, when my friends had it. And then I played San Andreas, GTA 4 and GTA 5 after that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I already answered how I got into RP. But uh, I appreciate the question. So, thank you, Carnage Bricks! Vince Lombardini, that's a cool name. So, what else do you do on your free time for a hobby besides play GTA RP. Um, I do play other games, I occasionally record other videos on other games. Uh, I usually go out with friends, go see my girlfriend, um, work, that's the main thing. Does sleep count as a hobby? If sleep counts as a hobby then yeah, that's pretty much my number one pastime. Um, and then I suppose go to the pub. <laughs> I'm British, what can I say? Pub is like, pub is life. That's what I'm trying to say. Pub is just like, get home, bad back, uh, I'm dead. Go to the pub, drink yourself into a coma. Problem solved. So uh, thank you for that question, Vince Lombardini, but yeah, there's only 24 hours in a day, so there's not much else I really can do. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to ask me anything else, I might do another Q&A video in the future then there is a link in the description to my discord if you join that you can ask me pretty much anything you want I'm gonna start a uh, I don't know ask GT gamer thread or something like that and um, any questions you want to ask me put in there I'll either reply to them on discord or I'll save them for the next Q&A video 
So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode, which is going to be a regular OCRP video. And I guess I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.